Hi, everybody. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello, welcome. It's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning to the channel, what up, y'all? <laughs> so welcome to your readings for the second half of May. Please keep in mind that these are general readings, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Please do not try to fit anything in where you don't feel like it fits, yeah? This is... Uh, these are readings for a lot of people, so just if it doesn't resonate with you, boop, just let it go and move forward. Um, I do want to, uh, first and foremost, I want to thank you guys so, so much for all of your support. I am very, very happy to be able to do this for you all, um, and I, I honestly couldn't be more grateful for the kind words and the feedback that you have been giving me about um, how the readings are resonating with you. I am so grateful that you guys are here and I am lovingly continuing to do this for all of us, yeah? I also want to thank those of you who have donated to the channel. I really, truly appreciate it. I am doing this for free, um, so, you know, any sort of energetic exchange is greatly appreciated, yeah? You know, I'm extending the energy and you extend the energy back when you donate, so, I thank you all so, so, so very much. Let's see, what else? I am available for private readings. You can find uh, the readings that I offer in the de description box below, as well as my email address. If you would like to order a reading, just shoot me an email and let me know how you would like to proceed. Um, please make sure to take a second to read over the different options that are in the description box below. That way you can either choose what you want and we can streamline the order process, or if you're not quite sure, you can just send me an email slightly describing what's going on and usually I'm able to pick up, you know, which reading would be best for you. If you don't have a question, don't worry. Just come forward and we will talk, yeah? I can just channel the energy and see what, give you whatever messages Spirit wants to send you, yeah? So I believe that's it. How about we get into these readings? Yeah? Let's do it. Sagittarius, <laughs> What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome to your reading for the second half of May, the 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into it, yeah? All right. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Sagittarians. Sun moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Sagittarius for this time period of May 15th to the 31st. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Sag. So I remember, um, I remember that for your reading for the first half of the month, the title of it was Someone Got Cut Off. And someone got cut off because they were... They were showing up, they were, basically they put forward some false advertising. They said they were an adult, like a big kid, big boy, big girl, but they never really acted like it. And finally someone got fed up. Um, and, I, and I did come across a situation in my life in which a friend of mine um, had cut off the Sagittarius in her life because she wasn't showing up as an adult when she needed to. So, oops. <laughs> so let's see what's going on for your second half of your month, Sagittarius. One more shuffle. Sagittarius. All right, we're good. Let's cut the deck. All right, Sag. So, your overall energy, we're starting off with, ooh, the magician in reverse. Okay, so, Sag, let me ask you, were you the one cut off, or did you cut someone else off? Because I'm feeling like there's some energy, I'm, I'm talk, picking up some energies from, from you, Sag, and you were cut off here, and we've got the magician in reverse, and it's saying to me that, um, you know, there's manipulation going on around here, okay? This could be, this could be the reason why you were cut off. Now it doesn't have to be the Sag Sagittarius, okay? Um, this could, this is, well, I'm just saying, whoever got cut off, 
There was manipulation. Oof, yeah. King of Pentacles in reverse. We've got the lovers upright. But then we also have the hermit in reverse. Um, okay. <laughs> so, um, astrologically, we have Gemini and we have Virgo or another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. That might resonate with some people. What's, oh wow, this is, this feels really weird, to be honest. We have the Hermit in Reverse, which is talking about um, needing to go within, needing to find the light within. But I'm picking up on some refusal to do that, okay? We have the Magician in Reverse, which is talking about manipulation and not in a good way because the, magi the magician is manipulative anyway, all right? Because the, ma the magician manipulates the laws of the universe and the material, the, the materials at their disposal to manifest what they want. <clears throat> so yeah, that is manipulation, but here we're talking about destructive manipulation, okay? With the King of Pentacles, I'm picking up, on, in reverse, I'm picking up on egotism, um, extreme materialism, um, doing anything just for money uh, or tangible objects, fame, fortune, whatever, recognition even. Um, focused more on the material aspects of life, but in the sense that you're not really taking care of things. You're being irresponsible. And the lovers here, which is the only card that is upright in the overall energy, is talking about a choice. And I'm picking up a vice, vi either vice or virtue, which you're going to choose. And it seems like you're, whoever we're talking to here, whether this is you, Sagittarius, or someone else that is in your life that was cut off, or just someone that's in your life currently, this person has been choosing vice for quite some time, is what I'm picking up on. But there is a a serious need to go within and find your own light here and to bring that forward because if you don't you're just going to keep manifesting all of this icky stuff that's around you we've got the ten of wands in reverse coupled with the queen of swords yeah all right we're talking about this cutoff situation and this person that was cut off <clears throat> this is what's going on with them they're not going within. They're not listening to their intuition. They're not working on figuring it themselves out. They are manipulatively manifesting things just for the sake of material gain, fame, fortune, wealth. And they're choo and they have and they are choosing. They are actively choosing vice over virtue. And whoever cut this person off again, this could be the sad. Just place this in your life wherever it goes. Whoever cut this person off, as soon as they as soon as they saw it with the Queen of Swords here, they said, "Hail to the Nah," and released and cut the and cut the ropes that were creating the burdens. Here, you see this. I'm gonna turn it off. Right, the Ten of Wands. You see how this man has this pyramid tied to his back with all those ropes. Queen Bee over here cut them ropes off and said, "Uh uh, I ain't having it no more." We've got the Six of Swords. Okay, so that's good. Moving on, moving to calmer waters. Could be physically moving with the Page of Swords in reverse. Okay, so what I'm getting here is someone's having to move now because of a lack of maturity. Plain and simple. They had presented themselves and have been presenting themselves as more stable, more grounded, more um, mature than they were actually really capable of following through with. False promises, um, false advertising. But I'm literally seeing movement of some sort. 
moving a movement away from the situation, whether that's physically moving, energetically, whatever. But it's because of a lack of mental maturity. Lack of tact, carelessness. Lack of even caring in some cases. Next we have the tower in reverse. Mm -mm. With the three of pentacles in reverse. Someone's refusing to accept a tower moment. And they're refusing to allow the people around them help to help them. This person has a lot of people around them that really care for them. Maybe not a lot, but has, has some people around them that care for them and are willing to help them. But they're refusing with the tower in reverse. They are fighting this tooth and nail. They're like, nah, -uh, I don't need to change. I'm just as fine as wit. Yeah, you're right. You're fine just the way you are. But you're not fine for my house. You're not fine for my domain. You're not fine for my energetic uh, 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 space. Fuck that. Bye, Felicia. You can pack your shit and go. Because I'm not doing this no more. Word. <laughs> Next, finally in this row, we have the Page of Pentacles in reverse. With, ah, judgment. But you see... Here is that moment where, well, no, <clears throat> this is what the universe is asking you for. This is what the universe is saying to whoever we're talking about here. You need to grow up. You need to ascend. Or you're just going to continue, manip uh, continue manifesting this, boo-boo, with the magician in reverse here. This is a cycle you've been going through for a very long time. And we've been trying to help you. We've been trying to help you with the tower in reverse and the three of pentacles in reverse, but you're resisting. And we're here to tell you, you've got to clean this up. The knight of pentacles in reverse is saying, you need to start moving towards ascending. And it doesn't even have to be ascending. It just means like growing up. You don't have to be on a spiritual journey. I'm not saying you have to be on a spiritual journey. What I'm saying is you just got to grow up a bit. You know, you got to take responsibility for your actions. You have to look at how your actions are interacting and, and, and um, are interacting with and affecting other people around you. Next, we have the two of wands in reverse with the seven of cups. Someone isn't able to make a decision because they're still... Okay, so this is for the person that we've been talking about here. You can't choose... You don't... Uh, I'm, yeah, you don't really want to decide because you know what path you would need to take in order to fix things, right? But you've got so much illusion around you with the Seven of Cups. I just got so many options. I just like, there's just so much I want to do. And I'm so sorry, I'm not trying. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to mock anybody. <laughs> but like, that's kind of how it's coming across to me. Just like flippant and like, whatever. I don't care. That's fine. <clears throat> you don't have to care. But if you're going to be around me, honey, 11-11, you're going to have to care about something. Like, if we're, we can't continue to do this, if you're just going to stay in this wishful thinking, all kinds of options, just wishy-washy, flippant, woohoo, let's party atmosphere. No. Like, I'm down for a good time, but not like this. <laughs> Next, the Six of Cups. With the Emperor. <clears throat> so, okay. We could be dealing with some daddy issues, unfortunately. Um, we could also be talking about twin flames here. Because we have the lovers. And now we have the emperor, which is which symbolizes the divine masculine. Um, but here, when it comes to, like, in terms of daddy issues, there could be, there's a core wound from childhood. 12-12. A core wound from childhood that has to do with a masculine figure. Could be a father. It, it could be a woman that embodies masculine energy. A father, a brother, uh, an uncle, 
a cousin. Someone that typically, I'm picking up that this is someone that would be older than you. To, to have um, some sort of authority all over you that has cre helped create this wound that you have been acting, that this person, you or whoever, this whoever we're talking about here, this person has been acting from, and that's the core wound that needs to be healed. And in choosing to heal that, you would actively be choosing virtue over vice. Okay. In other cases, we're saying here, like say we're talking about a twin flame, and some of you may be questioning whether or not... Um, this person is actually your twin, like this divine masculine here with the emperor. And I'm not someone that's here to confirm because ultimately only you can confirm that. Um, what I'm really getting from the Six of Cups and the Emperor when it comes to twin flame relationships is that this is your divine masculine. However, he's or she. They're, they're just not in their power right now. They're still fighting against this tower situation. And so you cut them off, Divine Feminine. Oh boy. All right, next we have the sun. Well, that's excellent. The sun is shining. That's great. Ah, yes, and the Five of Swords reversed. That is fantastic. It's, it's illumination that stops the fighting, that stops the battling, that stops the ego trips and the trying to one-ups and trying to get over on someone and all that shit. Illumination brings that to an end. Excellent. Excellent. And finally, we have the wheel, and it's upright. That is a good thing. Divine timing, going with the flow. Page of Cups in reverse. Um, maybe communication. There may be some sort of communication. Maybe like an apology could be coming through. Um, it's just that, you know, it's, it's blocked at the moment because <laughs> we're all kind of in the heat of whatever this situation is. Um, but change is coming to come. Change is coming. To, you know, the wheel is turning. It's going to be turning in, in somebody's favor. Um, and I am feel, I am picking up on an apology here with the prince with the page of cups. It is reversed, um, but that just means it's not ready to come forward yet. It's a little it's a little blocked. It's a little yeah, it's a little blocked. Okay, but somebody's got to go go within and do some deep soul searching, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, guys. There is your reading, Sag. Sag and Matez. <laughs> I love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I look forward to connecting with you, got with you for the first half of June. We are almost halfway through the year, guys. It's kind of crazy. Okay. Much love. Take care. Bye.